But you ought to take a look at those uh, at those numbers. It's a it's a terrible. It's honestly, it's a terrible thing. I stand before you today as the only candidate who can rescue our economy, and I mean from obliteration and restore it to strength, prosperity, and greatness again. I will do a real job for you. I'm going to work my ass off for you. And I didn't need this. I didn't need to be with you today. I could have been at a gorgeous beach in lots of places. I own some of the most beautiful beaches. I could have had that salt water from the oceans. I like oceanfront property best. I could have been standing on a beach, my beautiful white skin getting nice and tan, being smacked being smacked in the face by a wave loaded up with salt, salt water. And I could have said, the hell with everything. I could have had the greatest life in the world. Instead, I got missing a little piece of my ear. Tijuana was probably the fastest growing town in the history of the world. And we will, of course, keep men out of women's sports, I promise. <laughs> Last year, the radical left's gender insanity arrived right here in Salem, when a man was allowed to transfer onto the Roanoke College women's swim team. And I just met them backstage, the great swimmers. I didn't notice a male on that particular team. I didn't notice a male on that team. Perhaps I don't understand what's happening, but I didn't see any males on that team, believe me. But the brave members of the swim team stood up to the transgender fanatics, something new in our country. And those strong, and I would say beautiful, but I'm not allowed to use that term anymore with women, because if you say beautiful, it means the end of your career in politics. You're not allowed to say a woman's beautiful, so I will not tell you how beautiful they are, but they are beautiful. But those strong, beautiful, intelligent women, they won. They won. And today we're joined by seven of the great members, really championship, incredible swimmers of the Rono College women's swim team that have gotten a little publicity. They've gotten more publicity than I have. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Including team captain Lily Mullins, a real champion. Come on up. Come on up, ladies. Lily, everybody. Spend the child tax credit that we already created. I'm looking at the back of my head. What the hell? I don't like I look over at Yunkin. Now I look up there, I see. I'm having a bad hair day. This is not good. I have to have a bad hair day in front of Virginia? That's not good. Well, at least it's a nice picture. And he's worked so hard on this event. We spoke many, many times, Glenn, didn't we? Many, many times. And I, I just want to thank you. And I know you spoke before, but if you'd like to come up and say a couple of seconds, or you could just stay where the hell you are, Glenn. Come on up. Come on. Come on, Virginia. We had the greatest economy in the world, and Kamala Harris and Joe Biden broke it, and Donald Trump will fix it.
and we will make America great again. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Virginia.